What is up guys? My name is Ebenezer Frempong and welcome back to the channel. Now today's video is not going to be super long. Um, about a year ago I actually made the same type of video but the interfaces have changed and a couple other things have changed as well. So I just wanted to sit down and update that video for 2020. So that's what this video is. So in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to set up your Google Analytics account and how to install analytics onto your Shopify store. It's pretty easy, um, but it's just an updated video. Also, before I roll the intro, on Black Friday through Cyber Monday, I actually ran a promotion on my Instagram and Snapchat where it was, um, well, I'll just put the screenshot right here. I forgot to offer that same thing to you guys on YouTube. So here it is. The links for all of this will be down below. And this is why it's important to go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. So you guys can keep up with me and catch discounts and deals like that when I when I offer them. So that's pretty much it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and roll the intro and get started. <laughs> Right, guys so we're inside my MacBook and like I said this is not gonna be a super long video at all um, it's gonna be straight to the point on how to set up Google Analytics for your Shopify store now I've actually already set up a demo Shopify store um, I've done nothing to it at all I just created the store nothing's been added to it um, just to show you guys how to install Google Analytics into your store now to set up Google Analytics you're going to have to get a Gmail account or a Google account. So I've actually already made a demo account, which is demo frimpong1 at gmail.com. Emails to that account will never ever get a response because it's literally for demo purposes. So once you have that email set up for your store um, or for your e-commerce business, whatever it may be, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go to Google Analytics. You're just gonna type that into Google. Google Analytics, that's it. It's gonna take you to this page and then you're just gonna click start measuring. So on this page, one of the things I wanna talk about is I see a lot of people with multiple Shopify stores and they have multiple different accounts, Google Analytics accounts for each store. You do not need to do that. You just need one account and I'm gonna explain why. So right here where it says my new account name, I'm just gonna type in uh, Frimpong e-commerce stores or better yet let's do Frimpong Shopify stores right your account name is just your account name you're gonna be able to have multiple Shopify stores under one account that's better for organization that's one login that you can use for all your Shopify stores so you do not need to create multiple accounts for each store that it's dumb um, and it, it just takes up too much time so Frimpong Shopify stores we're going to go to Google products. We're going to unselect all of this and then we're just going to hit next. And then it's going to ask you, what do you want to measure? We're going to track a website. So web next property setup. This is where you're going to put in your store name because with every single Google analytics account, you can have a hundred properties. Properties are either websites or apps. That's all they are. What do you want to track? So in this case, we want to track my demo shop by store. So I'm going to name this property after that store. So it's going to be from express just like that. And then let's actually go and copy the URL for it. So it's going to be Boom, let's copy this. We don't need the admin part, we just need this. But when you're setting this up, do not use the My Shopify link. You're just gonna put in your actual store domain name. That's what you're gonna put in, not the not the My Shopify link. So if this was a real store, it would be fromexpress.com, fromexpress.co, whatever, not fromexpress.myshopify. So you're gonna set it up just like that. And then, whoops, let's get rid of this. Select HTTPS right here, just like that. Industry category here, I always select shopping. And then I'm in the Eastern Standard Time Zone, so that's New York. And then hit Create. I accept. Now your Google Analytics account is set up. And then you're just gonna copy this tracking ID right here. Copy that. 
and then you're gonna take that into Shopify. You're gonna go to online store, preferences, wait for it to load. And you're gonna paste that code right into here and you're gonna hit save. Now you're not done. Once you hit save, this is gonna pop up. You wanna select this. Enhanced e-commerce is what's gonna take your store revenue and store data and also display it in Google Analytics for you. And with this enhanced e-commerce feature, you can actually set up remarketing tags with your analytics account. Um, you can do a variety of different things. So always make sure you turn this on. That's very, very important. And then hit save. And then we're gonna go back to analytics because we're not finished up there yet. So now you're gonna go down here and click admin. And then under your property, you're gonna to go to the right and go to e-commerce settings. And we're gonna enable e-commerce. And then you're gonna go ahead and enable enhanced e-commerce reporting and then hit save. But you're not done yet. Then you're gonna go all the way to the left to this person icon that says audience. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna click demographics wait for it to load and then hit overview and then on this page you're gonna hit enable after you've enabled this then you're good to go that's how you set up your Google Analytics account now I also want to show you another thing as well go down here to where it says admin and on the screen here you see your account Frimpong Shopify stores so let's say you have five different Shopify stores, right? Instead of creating brand new accounts with different emails for them, you don't need to do that. You're just gonna log into your main account. So in my case, that's Frimpong Shopify stores. That's the one I'm logged into with the email that I created, demo Frimpong one. And then right here under property, you're just gonna hit create property. And then web, same thing. And now you're just gonna name this property after your second store, your third store, your fourth store. So everything is consolidated into one account you do not need to create a brand new account for every single store that you create that's perfectly fine let's say you have a failed store you can actually just take the analytics um, code and just rename the property and just put it on a new store um, each analytics account allows you to have 100 properties most people 99 percent of people are not going to run out of those properties you're, you're going to be fine well you just need one analytics account that's all you need for all your Shopify stores even if you start doing YouTube you can add that into YouTube you can add analytics to your YouTube channel which I, I have one added to this channel as well so everything can be tracked all from this one dashboard sorry guys so it's actually changed um, I didn't see this down here it's actually maximum of 50 properties now not a hundred so that's pretty much it uh, that's it for this video. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and most definitely subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on my most active social media platforms, Instagram and Snapchat. That's it, and I'll see you guys next time. I will not settle for anything less than a toilet that's made out of gold. I want my shit to go down with finesse. I want to wipe with a St. Laurent vest. I want the money to balance the stress. I want the lotto. I want to buy Donald Trump and sell him to a Chapo. I, I, I need the riches. I'm talking guap that allows you to burn all the bridges.